caught between the draw of the West and its Soviet-style past. The fate of this Minsk truck factory is very much like Belarus itself. This backbone of Belarusian production is up for partial privatization. The search for investors is on, as it is for hundreds of other companies here. But the country's president, dubbed by the US as Europe's last dictator, insists it won't be a free-for-all. We won't lose control over anything. If we lose control, you know what that will lead to. The financial crisis has shown what happens. But clearing the way for reform just isn't happening fast enough for potential investors. The state still controls three quarters of the economy. And common complaints are over strict price controls, multiple taxes and heavy red tape. We spoke to a lot of people and my impression is that it's still close and still communist. Still, it's very much regulated and I see a lot of anxiety and a lot of uh, kind of, uh, uh, kind of uh, disillusionment of uh, the system. But nobody dares uh, tell the boss of the country that the king is naked and we have to change the system. But the wheels of change are turning. Last year, the World Bank pushed Belarus's ranking in the League of Best Places to Do Business up from 115th to 85th, higher than Russia, something the German owners of this building materials factory would agree with. There's less and less of the Soviet economy. There is a fair amount of bureaucracy, but recently investment conditions have been getting better. So I would recommend to potential investors to come to Belarus before judging it. This rollout is a litmus test for privatization in Belarus. But even if it proves a success, there will still be a long road ahead.